I'm Senior Team Leader Garcia. Hello, boy. That's. I want to thank a lot of you guys who have been writing in on a regular basis. Our um, Facebook pages have gone into the thousands. Um, you've, you've commented on our videos, um, seen Max in action. Well, I want to answer some of your questions out there. Um, we only use giant schnauzers. Love the Mallies, love the, the, the Shepherds. They're great dogs. Um, but we just have a profile that we're looking for in a specific um, requirement for our, our canines. You know, we're not the military, we're not police. Those guys, man, they have a um, they have a certain track on their own. They have very specialized needs, and for them, the Mallies and the Sheps work perfect for their environment, for their operations. Um, our dogs take a beating every day, meaning that we're, they're walking on concrete floor all over the United States. Um, they walk miles and miles on a daily basis. And so that can be pretty hard on the joints of any animal, four-legged creature. What we're looking for from our perspective is that the dog has size, dog has a great deal of intelligence level. Not saying that the Mallies and the Shepherds don't, guys. Don't freaking start writing in and saying, you know, you scumbag, that I'm t you know, no. I love the Shepherds, love the Mallies. Some of the smartest dogs I know out there are, are Shepherds and Mallies. We like the giant schnauzers. I'll tell you another reason why we really like the giant schnauzers. Whenever we're going into cells, you know, we're always worried about uh, individuals that are that are highly allergic to the dog dander. So inside of an environment, we notice and we have learned over the last six years is that these giant schnauzers are really, for the most part, very hypoallergenic. Maybe, maybe two percent they shed a little bit and depends on you know where their environment's at i mean max has worked from arizona california all the way to maine all the way down to florida uh he's worked in the rocky mountains texas by the way love you guys out there in texas thanks for for sending those emails and keeps in those words of encouragement um so max has primarily traveled here conus in the continental united states later on i'm going to kind of show you the different cages that we have for our, our, our vehicles uh this vehicle for example and all of our vehicles are all custom done by the uh, Chris Walker team. Uh, his stuff is the Urban Tack Cross uh, vehicles. They're amazing vehicles by Super Trucks. Uh, Chris Walker's design team. Uh, on this one, uh, this one has Max's and uh, a counterparts uh, cage in it. It's heated, cool, divider in the middle. I've got temperature and all the accessories are provided by our friends over at American Aluminum. Those guys are amazing. You gotta go to the website and you gotta check them out. Uh, Easy Rider Online. Uh, soon just go to American just type in just Google in American Aluminum Accessories Incorporated and, and you will see those guys if it comes to designing a crate making a crate kennel system whatever it is then those are the guys that you really want to go to and uh, they'll work with any any department I'm I've given them some tough projects but uh, Max does ride in comfort uh, I can keep this baby right here at a steady uh, 65 degrees in the summertime in the wintertime I can keep her at a nice warm toasty 70 degrees the types of food that we feed our dog is real simple. I like a taste of the wild uh, for us. Clean, easy. I can get it at most tractor supply places. Um, we feed our dogs uh, the, 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 the salmon. Um, you know, that's the best one. And then we also offset it well, with this guy here. We offset it and don't tell him. But uh, on a Friday, Saturday, he knows it's beef time. So we're going to get him maybe a pound of some nice ground beef, just lightly um, sauteed, nothing in it. Uh, and we put a little salmon oil that's kind of our, our recipe for him uh, with with the food with all of our giant schnauzers helps in the joints on our four inter interceptor that we have um, everything that we everything that we have and everyone always always ask us hey man your vehicles are like transformers um, do you have cages in all your vehicles all of our vehicles we don't go anywhere without our canines, whether it's high-risk inmate transport, fugitive recovery, uh, high-risk movement, high-valued movement, a, um, a uh, secured inmate transport. Because the bottom line is this, a dog can track a human being faster, better, quicker. So it's gonna suck to be you if you're in shackles or if you take off in the woods or if you're in a hospital. Our dogs are, are, are trained to track on the inside, hold outside the door, and then we go right to work. Um, canines are the most ultimate force multiplier. Searcher, a sweeper, literally be able to sweep and, and, and uh, check the area for bombs or narcotics. We have multiple giant schnauzers that range from narcotics and patrol, bomb and patrol, or just strictly what Max does, direct action. Um, we only put our dogs in the best protection. And so we run the uh, American Aluminum uh, Accessories 
uh, crate system and the cage for the interceptor. I'm telling you what, I love the versatility. I love how they, they put all the thought through the process to ensure that the hands don't get smashed, the airbags can still de deflate and provide my dog with, with a great deal of protection, maximum great deal of protection. It doesn't cut it off. I've got uh, heating sensors, pop out doors. Um, I've got the cooling system. Um, they're using a smart battery system so that I can keep my dog running. I've got alarms to make sure that if anything happens with um, with the vehicle, that I, I'm getting a page or I'm getting a, a phone, uh, I'm getting a call, a text, and it just kind of warns me. You know, whenever you work like I worked, and, and for the past uh, six years, I've been running a giant schnauzer very quietly. We It's only been in the last um, two years that we actually disclosed that we were using giant schnauzers. You know why? Simple. The first uh, three years, man, we took a beating. We took a beating from the public in within law enforcement, laughing at us, um, calling it everything from a poodle to uh, that little Yorkie out there with the beard. But uh, Max has done an amazing job, and all of our, our trainers that we have in Virginia that, that have trained our dogs, work with our dogs, um, we had, a, we had uh, some what we call imprinting specialists to help us in the very beginning. Uh, but as the program has taken place, everything is done in Virginia now. Hey guys, stick around for some of this bonus footage. Uh, that we have of uh, Ami and uh, Mo as they train, continue on in the process of becoming a correction special ops canine like Max. We'll see you next time. Take care.